Welcome back to another video. My name is Carl Goslin, and today it's a Tuesday. I'm going to talk about some VR related stuff today. Um, today it's about ceiling mounts. I don't think you can quite see mine in the shop, but I've got a, the headset here and it was hung up on a hook up there. And it's on one of your typical sort of pulley systems that you'll see on various videos throughout YouTube. They're quite cheap to pick up. Um, and I'm going to talk about something that nobody ever mentions when they're installing these, and maybe it's because they haven't had one long enough. And that is that unless you're paying very close attention to what you're doing, you twist the living crap out of your cable. Because you can freely spin round and round and round and round, which is awesome. Um, and you know, maybe you're playing something like zero caliber. Um, where you're wanting to duck down, turn around, different directions, all this, which is awesome. And you've no longer got that cable hanging down behind you, getting wrapped around your feet. It's just coming down above your head. But what that allows you to do is just being round and round and round like a ballerina. Not that I look like a ballerina, but you know what I'm saying. Uh, and that cable just gets twisted and twisted and twisted. Now, that problem is made worse by the fact that your cable itself is kept under tension by these retractable pulleys. I mean, that's the whole point of them is that when you go down to the ground, they come with you. And then when you stand back up, they lift up again. But because it keeps a constant tension on the cable, and then obviously it's on your head like this, and you're spinning round and round and round, you've basically got the cable taut, and then you're twisting it and twisting it and twisting it and twisting it. Now, I had to get my cable replaced and thankfully Oculus did that for free. I've got a brief video on the process I had to go through to get that as well. This is actually my replacement one. I don't know how well you're gonna see this, but I twisted the living crap out of this within the first 45, it used to about make it out there, within about 45 minutes of fitting this new cable. Well, I didn't actually do it, a friend of mine um, come and had a go in zero caliber, did a, did a complete mission which takes about 45 minutes. And he was just freely turning around and ducking behind things and shooting and, and what have you, not paying any attention to his orientation. And the cable, I mean, I was really worried. I thought, to be honest, we probably fucked another one. Um, thankfully, I let it sort of hang and I applied a very small amount of heat using a hairdryer on a low setting and it just all sort of untwisted again. So, but I'm still, you know, I'm very cautious now. So there's pros and cons to having these ceiling mounted pulley systems because now I'm disinclined to rotate around because I lose track of where I am, um, which means I may as well not have the pulley system. I may as well just have the cable behind me on the floor and, and not have the issue whereby I could twist it up if I'm not paying attention or a friend could. Now there's two pieces of software out there that I'm aware of that try and help with this issue. One of them puts like a, a spiral on the floor. So if you were to look down in VR, you'd see the spiral. Now the spiral disappears when you are facing the correct orientation and you haven't rotated at all. Um, the more you rotate in one direction, the bigger the spiral gets. So um, you can look down, if there's a spiral present, you can untwiddle yourself a few times until it disappears. But this only seems to work in Steam and it doesn't even work in all games within Steam, at least not the last time I tried it. There's another piece of software that I believe gives you a beep if you're twisting round, but it kind of breaks the immersion a little bit. You've got the beep shouldn't really be there. And again, it doesn't work with all titles. So it's neither of these are a perfect solution, at least not at the time I tested them. So yeah, this video really is just to bring to people's attention. If you go and get a ceiling mount and pulley system, which a lot of us do, just be aware before you go literally screwing up your cable, that you can't just spin around and around and around and around. Um, Oculus for these CV1s don't sell replacement cables anymore. Getting one can be difficult. Some people are lucky, I was. Some people have not been so lucky. Again, check my video out about that if you're interested. Um, if you've got a Rift S, they'll quite happily sell you a cable. I think it's about 80 quid, but that could be an 80 pound mistake you don't have to make. So yeah, pros and cons with the ceiling mount pulley system. That I haven't seen anyone else mention in their review videos, which is why I thought I'd do it. I've got a ceiling mount pulley system and I really don't now take advantage of the freedom it's supposed to give you because I'm worried about destroying my cable and I'm, I move house in a few weeks. I may not put it back up 
in my new VR play space. I may just leave the cable hanging down behind me because I can't turn around freely. What's the point in sticking it up on the ceiling in the first place? Anyway, I'll leave you with those thoughts. It's up to you what you guys do. You can see why you might not want to do it. You can see why you might. But yeah, it's all up to you. Have fun with it anyway. Um, thanks for watching as always. Take it easy.